The legal team who defended Danny Masterson in his rape case is under fire for allegedly contacting jurors from the trial without their consent. In a November 13th motion obtained by NBC News prosecutors, requested that a Los Angeles court, quote, issue an order to show cause and conduct a full hearing to consider the imposition of sanctions for any unwanted harassing or otherwise improper conduct by members of the defense team who have reportedly been contacting jurors subsequent to Masterson's May 2023 conviction. The document states, since the discharge of the jury, this court has reportedly been contacted by several of the jurors regarding contact by members of the defense team. These emails describe unwanted contact at their homes and workplaces by members of the defendant's legal team, including contact at a juror's workplace by defense attorney Sean Holly Holly, one of the That Sevens Show alums' trial. Attorneys acknowledged contacting several jurors but denied any wrongdoing. In declarations she says were submitted to the court over the past week, the lawyers said she first contacted the presiding juror in June 2023 and met with her that July two months after Masteron was found guilty of raping two women in the past, the following September the actor was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison in the case which he is currently appealing. Holly wrote, in a November in the voicemail I left for her, I made it perfectly clear that she was under no obligation to speak with me, me, but that I hoped I might be able to speak with her on the phone to discuss the jury's opinions about the case. She continued her reply to me was an email, a week later, on July 6, 2023, in which she indicated that rather than speak on the phone, she would prefer to meet in person. Holly alleged in a November 14th declaration that the two met for lunch the following day in Santa Monica, California. She continued during our lunch meeting. The four-person was friendly, cordial, and forthright. She concluded our meeting by telling me that she believed that some of the other jurors would also want to speak with me, Holly, who noted in her November 14th declaration that she obtained the four-person's information by looking her up online, said the fourers later contacted her to let her know about two other jurors who were willing to meet with her and gave her their numbers allegedly with their permission. The lawyer said she phoned the pair and met with each separately at restaurants. Holly said both jurors were cordial and pleasant. I am confident based on my interactions with the jurors and their willingness to speak with me that none of the three jurors with whom I met consider or ever considered my contact with them to be unwanted harassing or otherwise improper. However, the prosecution also said in their motion that several jurors expressed concern to the court about how Holly was able to obtain their personal contact information as their identifying data was ordered to be sealed after the verdict. The prosecutor's motion had noted that while a lawyer may discuss jurors jury deliberation, or verdict with a juror after the jury is discharged, the juror must first give their consent. The document included a copy of an email from the foreperson telling the court Holly had contacted them and asking permission to meet with her. They added that after receiving the most recent juror complaint, they issued an order in September that prohibits the defense team's contact with trial jurors without going through the court clerk. Thanks for watching.